two of those purportedly virtuous knights pummeled each other over a dockside hole. Apparently, they are Art is who not will go life's first. bread and butter, and but it's fruit this and tribe? wine. Oh, I thought they meant a different kind of pummeling. <laughs> well, that could be a possible solution. <laughs> We have so many quests where we need to wait, and speaking of waiting, how's my Corvo Bianco estate doing? Is it all good yet? Uh, I can't tell from here. I gotta look here, I guess. Nope, I'm still waiting for the three days right now. The armorer's table and the grindstone are here. Haven't seen those yet, but let's go back for all of that at the same time then. Is there anything close by that's not Gwent related? Oh, maybe the Fists of Fury? Master, 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 Master! Find the Grand Master Smith. Okay. That's a level 40 quest, but we are level 41 right now, so we can do it. Sure, why not? This will give me a chance to really walk around town too, because this place is so big. It's like a maze. I don't know how to um, really get around to this whole place. Perfumery. Oh, were we here before? Yes, you're the Gwent person. But I don't want to play Gwent right now, so I will be back some other time. Kiss a dog's ass. Excuse me? Life Rude. Is beautiful. Any food I can have? Food for the poor, please? Never thought I'd live to see times like Nothing. this. Nothing. I'm going to twist it. Oh, there's a stage here! <laughs> Are you drunk? You seem kinda drunk. Snow White, you with the exquisite hair! Snow White! Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair! The scar! Ah, the frown! It's all perfect! Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. <laughs> portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size, with the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Well, he's basically indirectly saying I'm very handsome and good looking, right? That's a compliment. Don't see why not, long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. Oh. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Okay, sounds good to me. Maybe after this we'll get a painting that we can put in our house, huh? A portrait of the Witcher as an old man. As an old man? <laughs> Where would you be exactly? Uh, Maybe it's because it's not noontime right now? Right here, by the palace. Even the palace is not really a place I've looked at that closely. No. Well, let's check out the Grand Master Smith. That's even above the normal master level, huh? Grandmaster. This guy must be really, really skilled. Life in Beauclair can be quite dear. Is there a merchant here? That's always free. Greetings. A fake merchant. Probably wasn't that one. Another murder by the horrid beast. Milton the Lafarge. victim to his own cowardice. The beast of Beauclair has struck again. Citizens, beware of Don't the beast. Crowd around. Turn your trembling hearts to the good book. You will find solace there. Citizens, Beauclerois, Toussaint-Trois, 
wherever you are. <laughs> you are kindly reminded that by decision of the city council, you are requested to refrain from spilling sewage into the streets of the Oatville between 10 o'clock in the morning and 8 at night. Oh, so if it's not within the hours, it's okay? Ooh. Another man. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarque. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Brother. Uh, mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? Ugh, no offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, i rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. For free? All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So oh. I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Then you should be doing this for me for free, right? Because if you have a copy, you can make so many sets of armor and then you can just keep making money off of that. But this guy's a protege of the elven armorer. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grandmaster quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Oh, it's pretty personal for you too, huh? When you mentioned an elven armorer, I was thinking that this might have happened a long time ago, but you don't look that old, and you were his apprentice. So this was... this is pretty recent. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school. Of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Manticore? That's not one that we've heard before, huh? School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it. Though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, 
A witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Shameful ending. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termes. He, he warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. Since these are Grandmaster level armor pieces, maybe getting the diagrams will be a bit more challenging than usual. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This 200. Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said... He left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome Delone, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time, he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up. Afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. And possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair and it is simply too dangerous there. I was always under the impression that these ancient diagrams were drafted up and made by armorers and blacksmiths, as opposed to it being ancient knowledge within the Witcher clans themselves. But maybe it's a little bit of both. You can't really have one without the other. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear-head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed. The bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. 
Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. When I listen to this guy talk about all these stories, it sounds like there are so many witchers all over the world. I'd really have liked to meet them, even though that's probably not possible anymore. What do you have on offer? Can I sell you anything? Yeah, just this random stuff. I'll keep this one. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I feel like even your armor is fancier than normal. Look at all these horse blinders! Dang. Fancy, fancy. Saddle of the Five Chivalric Virtues. Even the saddles, there's a whole bunch of different ones, but they're all the same stamina. So it's really just for aesthetics here. Dang. Okay, well, I don't need anything from you for now. Thank you anyway, though. You have a lot of ingredients, too, if we ever need to buy anything. Thank you. Hmm. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Thank you. Now, we're gonna find them all anyway, but you only really need one set. You need to craft one set to get to the Grandmaster rank in your guild, right? And I suspect we're only gonna have time to wear one set too, so... I guess I'll collect all the diagrams first, and... We'll decide which one to wear, based entirely on aesthetics, and not stats. <laughs> Very sad to hear stories of the end of all these witchers, though. I guess that's the nature of why these diagrams get lost in the wild too, because Truthful. witchers are kind of witch nomadic almost. Best, Hard for knowledge to get retained in any one place. Even though we're in the Wolven tears. clan, we know nothing about the Grandmaster Wolven armor. There is a Fists of Fury close by. Let's then see if we can't do that. <laughs> Mountebank Alley. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Never you worry. The air here is such that one is never hungover. Or always hungover? <laughs> uh, I don't think this is where we need to be. Ooh, purple armor dye. Where am I? Somebody's kitchen. I'm just kind of looting all their food because I can. Is that okay? Whose house is this? Oh, it's a... It's a washroom? Hello? Curious customs of the Tucson Trois excerpt. Not that one, but this one. Where have all the heroic and selfless knights gone? Are they truly noble, like Ramon of Gishon or Martinus de la Pac, a thing of the past now? Though they maintain a facade of independence and altruism, the knights errant of Toussaint of our day are paid, and by the Duchess herself. So I ask, is that noble? Is that dignified? Should a knight, a nobleman, after all, receive payment for his heroic deeds? Is he but a mercenary, or part of my Nazari, a plowing witcher? <laughs> Excuse me! Shouldn't the tears of joy of a rescued damsel suffice as a reward? I simply cannot understand it. To paraphrase the weighty words of the wise René de Hospitalier, such fools these Toussaint Trois. Mmm, I see where you're coming from, because if you get paid to do a good thing, then did you really do a good thing? I would say yeah, but more importantly, the knights... If being a knight's gonna be a profession, they need to eat, they need to bring home the bacon. And they're all being paid by the Duchess, as opposed to some random rich town person, so I feel like it's okay, they all have the same employer. Toussaint. Ooh, this person has some armor stands too. Whoa, look at this bed. This is a fancy house, although I'm not sure whose it is exactly. But it's okay. Before they even come home, we're out of here. The is a Hello? Are you not? What Would you get so challenged? Fick, fick, come on! Do come you know here! The I would see on the Who do I need to talk to? The Red, white, and the rose. The bookie. 
Shall you face off against still waters? Shall you? Shall you? Like to know who I'm punching. This knight won't reveal his name or face? Won't say anything at all, not a word? Rein in your curiosity, sir. A knightly vow is no idle promise. Still waters shall conceal both face and crest until such time as one defeats him. So, will you fight or not? He's a fancy guy, huh? Okay. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> kind of sounded like a woman. Noble lords and virtuous ladies, another fight is soon to begin. Be terribly barbaric. Finally, somebody who's putting on armor to do these fist fights. Oh! Hold on. Don't get too greedy. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? One more hit, and I'm dead. This isn't very entertaining for the masses at all, is it? It's somehow still hanging in here. Although I have a dying, so, you know. But nobody has to know that. Let's pretend we don't. Woo! Didn't need it. And gentlemen, the Witcher defeats the previously invincible Stillwaters. And what about it was? Freed of his vow, the knight can now show his face. Your blows are strong and true. My congratulations. Mm. Thanks. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. No wry remarks? What for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. I'd expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. Youth Colossus and Mancombe left to face. With that duo defeated, you can seek out the maestro. Look for Colossus in the largest courtyard you can find in San Sebastian. While Mancombe, you will find wandering about the docks south of Oatville. Hmm, our first female fist fighting opponent. Bridget. Hopefully, hearing my words will make her feel a little bit better. Was that truly necessary? Was that an Why actual not? knightly vow, though? Or is it just an excuse because she can't really show that she's female? Because if it's a knightly vow, then that would mean that she's a female knight, right? A while ago, I was wondering about this. Do they ever have female knights? Eh, since we're doing these fist fights anyway, could we go on and see where Colossus is? Oh, look at this place. It's looking poorer already. Poor townsmen, poor townswomen. Oop! <laughs> Went into their pool. Here's some free advice, witchman. There is a very thin line between the rich and the poor here. Colossus? Don't crowd around. Is there a pub here? Uh, we're not on the right elevation right now. What's going on? Ah! No, I hear them. I hear them. Are they under the bridge, maybe? No. Oh, that's weird. How do I get to them? I love you. What? <laughs> Sorry, lady, but I don't feel that way about a random person. 
here we go. Master Witcher, yes. oh. will you face Colossus? Folks say those of your guild here. pack a thunderous punch. <laughs> He's as old as Father William. I smack him once. He spent a week wondering yes, if anyone saw the crest on trap. the carriage that ran him over. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. I am pretty old. <laughs> oh, now you look to be a man in search of exertion. Hey, Whitelocks, will you dare to fight Colossus? I'm probably twice this guy's age at the minimum. Colossus. Interesting as monikers go. Or is that what his mother called him out of the womb, too? <sighs> Why would she not have? Colossus. It rings out with pride and passion. So, will you fight? Why the heck not? I'm after the fist fighting champion title here, too. Fine. Let's fight. Ah, boring. I'm not interested. Quick I am. Too quick for you. It'll be knick knack putty whack. Kiss your arm bone. Where's the <laughs> sport in it? Don't want to fight? Why bother looking for challengers then? Wasting my time. Whoa, a bit testy, are we? A witcher, right? Let's do it like this. You parry three blows I throw your way, you win. But you can't swing at me. Not once. Just deflect my blows, got it? Catch three of them, and I'll toss you double your wager. Feeling that generous? No, I just know you can't do it. No one's ever done it. Too fast, see? So, willing to try for three blocks? I'm curious. Fine. Doubt I'll have any trouble deflecting a few blows. That I get. At long last, one with a sportsman's soul. Now, listen. The rules say you're not to start your parry until I've cocked my fist. Standing with your guard ups not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, witness a most peculiar fight. How shall I say this? The Witcher has accepted a colossal challenge. Why do I gotta be naked for this one? <laughs> do you see that guy's tattoos? Block, you old goose. Too quick for you, huh? I'm concentrating. Boom. Incredible! The Witcher has parried Colossus's blows. No one's ever managed that feat. Here's your due. Thanks. That guy has really poorly drawn tattoos. <laughs> Only Manco now stands between you and your duel with the Maestro. Look for him by the docks south of Oteville. Oh, well, that was an interesting variation on the fist fighting. And to be fair, he was really fast. He was. If I wasn't concentrating, I probably would have had a bit of trouble with that. Oh, look at this house in comparison to the house that we just robbed. It's quite crappy looking. Hello, child! Don't worry, I'm just here to take all your stuff. No worries at all. Why is everyone sleeping? It's only 8. Oh, there was a note here. But you can't read it? Tucson seems like a pretty crowded place, right? So a lot of these poor houses, they have second floors because they can't afford to expand horizontally. It's like primitive apartments. My spirit is willing, is my flesh is weak. Okay, well now all we gotta do is go to Mancomb. Eh, why not? We're already on this path anyway. I'm so mm, mm -hmm. wet. See, we can see the Beauclair Palace in the distance, but the further away we get from it. Yeah, even the ground is very telling here. If you go down here, it's like dirt roads, but as soon as you're reaching the gate here, it starts to become pavement. Best cure for the beast, a witcher. Oh, it's getting pretty quiet all of a sudden. Unexpected, because people seem to love the party around here. Where are all the wine drinkers? The guy Nobody the by the bank. The guard surfs. The guardsmen have got iron nerves. What a specimen. 
scared the fright out of me. Can I cut through here? Hospital! Hospital! Lepiotis wheezing lungs. A real witch. Is there a whole bunch of shops over there? That might have been the Grandmaster Armorer I was just talking to. Take good care of yourself. Thank you. No guardian officer. One false move and you will regret it. That's new. Hey, you have a funny hat. Oh. No guardian embassy. Right out of me. No wonder. Tucson is a vassal duchy of the Nilfgaardian Empire. Duchess Anna Henrietta is the rightful ruler of the region, but in practice, she submits to the will of her dearest elder cousin, Emir Var Emres. It was certainly out of concern for her enlightened grace and her little realm that the emperor founded an embassy in Tucson, consisting of a handful of dignitaries who dwell in the duchy full time and use their experience to help with her de facto enlightened decisions. Ah, I see. Enlightened decisions. Is there an actual building that we can go into? No. One false move and you will regret it. Oh. Go to Vivia. Sir! Come to me, please! Approach! Approaching. Kira? <laughs> My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me. South in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. <sighs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah, oh, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretore. Mm, couldn't have gotten you a bouquet? Some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? Of course. I'll do anything for money. This Gratore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. We've done this type of contract a lot. Somebody is worried about somebody they love, and they send me to look for them. But, uh, judging by my experience as a witcher, the chances of your, uh, what was it? Your boyfriend, your husband, being dead is pretty dang high. I feel bad for you, so I'm not gonna make you pay more. Do my damnedest to get your fiance back fiance. safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Gratore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Rotor. Oh, that's right. This updated earlier, huh? Barnabas Basil Folti. The major domo of Corvo Bianco was a gentleman's gentleman, if there'd ever been one. His whole life he had served distinguished nobles. The Nibali family, for example, or Admiral Rompoli, for another for he would never tolerate an employer who detracted from his personal dignity. Since Barnabas Basil remembered the times of Monsieur Bolius and Baron Rossell, he was a wellspring of anecdotes about the vineyard's past. He knew every corner of every secret of Corvo Bianco. An excellent administrator, he offered a wealth of good advice concerning the modernization and management of the estate. Geralt could not have hoped for better help. 
One could even say that by entrusting Corvo Bianco to the hands of the marvelous Majordomo, Anna Henrietta had given the Witcher the most beautiful present he'd ever received. For a home without someone capable to care for it is no home at all. How nice. He does seem to be pretty capable. I remember we just updated earlier when we last saw him. R. R? Wait, what? Oh, is it because Regis' first name is like E or something? Emil Regis Rolag Terziev Godfroy. That's a fancy name. Geralt found Mare Le Chai Long Cemetery in the crypt where Regis not only lived, but had also managed to set up a well-equipped alchemist's workshop. They began to confer. Regis explained he believed his friend had become implicated in some serious trouble. When they figured out they had overlapping goals, they decided to join forces and together seek out the vampire Detlaf, better known in the duchy as a beast of Beauclair. Geralt also learned how it was Regis had returned to the world of the living. Oh, how it was Regis had returned to the world of the living. He had been helped by none other than the very one they sought, Detlaf. In light of this, Regis insisted they find a peaceful solution to the Detlaf problem. Geralt and Regis decided that an aid was needed to find Detlaf, a certain potion called Resonance, to brew it. Regis needed some bodily tissue from the object of their pursuit. Luckily, Geralt had earlier found a dismembered hand belonging to the murderer. Another ingredient needed to brew Resonance was saliva, or salivary glands, from a spotted white. Having discovered that one such creature resided nearby, Regis sent the Witcher to hunt it down. And in due time, we will. Oh, I opened that thing so I could see the bestiary entry, but I guess we can read it when we get to actually eliminating that monster? Sure. Sure, why not? For now? Oh, no, 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 no. It updated my quest. I want to finish off the Fists of Fury, if that's okay. I know it's around here. By the way, we've been listening to the same piece of music loop like 20,000 times now. <laughs> grabbing mancomb awaits a challenger. Slow. His tongue, as devastating as his fists, his riposts bring grown men to tears. Who dares? Who dares? I dare. But why don't we make it daytime so we can see a little bit better? It's quite dark here. Even though Tucson seems so rich, they don't have electricity here yet, so everything is still very dark. Hey, we can go back to Corvo Bianco. Surely you techniques Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancom is no ordinary fighter. Mancomb? First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancomb is a saddler, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his riposts are sharp. What's a saddler? Like, somebody who rides a horse? Okay, well, I mean, we're not doing any horse fighting today. <laughs> or dueling, they say. Fine. Let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Hey, you do rhymes too? <laughs> uh, what would Geralt do? I feel like he would be this one, but just, uh, get in the spirit of shit-talking a little bit. Your taunts? I've heard dogs wretch things more profound. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. Well, how then is this for a clever tongue twister? You're a bum-botching, blackened, bile-filled blister. <laughs> Think you're confused. That sounds more like your sister. I'm immune to disease, but even I'd die if I kissed her. You aren't worthy to empty my sister's bedpan, you mange-ridden mutant, not even a man. 
Dang, we're both spitting fire here. Should have quit before we began. Gonna make you wish you'd turn tail and ran. Well, why, you... bad, uh... <laughs> uh... I've got to admit, you know how to roast a man. You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you, oh. you've won. The Witcher what? wins, <laughs> beating Mancombe at his own game. You out-tongued me, but only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right, sure. Well, we'll have a duel again some other time, if you want. Thus, you've gained the right to challenge the Maestro. Look for him at the docks, and congratulations. I'm impressed. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. The Maestro, how close is he? Pretty dang far away. But you know what? We can probably fast travel to the Beauclair port, to the Gwent, and then go to this guy. How about that? Yeah, we gotta get rid of all this Gwent stuff eventually. Um, I am curious where the tournament is though. One of these is the tournament, right? Where was that again? Maybe I'll just check via the quest here. Raging Wolf. Oh, that's not the Fists of Fury. Raging Wolf. The final Grandmaster, huh? Where was the Gwent quest? Oh, here. Oh, okay, it's this one. Hmm. In that case, um, I feel like we should do a quick visit to that guy too, so why don't we actually take some time to walk over here first. Lasso more. There's still so much of Beauclair that we haven't seen yet. This place is so big. So we're not gonna do the tournament now, but if we can just understand or get an understanding of what this is gonna be like, that would be pretty cool. The Vesentry. A lot of bird-themed inns here. Night, love, and wine council, no half Count Monnier. Oh. The tournament. Am I too late to sign up? We've one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. This a face no ointment could help. Oh, you have to use the Skellige deck. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon. Of this, I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia. Saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer-in-chief. Our turn is more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellig, a new Gwent faction. Cool. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit. The rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, ogle us from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Kreite, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. Is it weird when people play Gwent? Like, if somebody plays against me, they're like, Ha, I'm gonna play down Geralt of Rivia. Oh, wait. Hey, how come this card looks a lot like you? <laughs> New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion. Travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. 
yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to defies the new faction. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellig is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. <gasps> oh, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. That's what I was thinking. So if Gwent had an official governing body in the Witcher universe, then we would not be able to play the Skellige deck, right? Because nobody knows about it. Which means this tournament here right now, maybe it's organized by some rich guy, but it's mostly unofficial. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. What if I lose? Then I can't prove that Skellige is amazing and all. Oh, I want that. I want that. Pure gold. Is it? Is it? Well, we can't partake in the tournament today because we gotta practice with the deck first. But even before that, we gotta collect all the cards. And then we'll come back here, huh?